and welcome back to another episode of Paint Along with Sky. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Sky, and I post beginning level acrylic tutorials here on YouTube every Saturday. So hit subscribe if you'd like to join the fun and paint along. Hit the bell icon to be notified when I post a new video. Okay, so beautiful artists, we have a gorgeous sunset uh, painting today. Super simple, gorgeous, complimentary colors. We're going to be using our three standard brushes, so our big square brush, medium-sized pointed brush, and a tiny brush. I have my clean canvas underneath here. The colors that I have today that I'm going to be working with are yellow, orange, red, white, black, and a ultramarine blue. Okay, let's go ahead and jump right in. I've got my water cup and paper towels off the side of the screen here. Check the description box below for a more detailed list on all the materials that I use to create the paintings each week. Okay, let's go ahead and start with our big brushes. Now, I'm actually going to do what I do for a lot of paintings, which is start with a horizon line. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of yellow and just a little bit of white. And I'm gonna cut my canvas right in half horizontally. Okay. Very simple to start. This is a really easy painting today. Uh, one of my favorite subject matters. I'm a big fan of the ocean and a big fan of boats. This is very much my happy place <laughs> of painting. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take that yellow and bring it up on a nice big stripe like so. Then I'm going to grab a pinch of orange and I'm going to go right on top of that. And what we're wanting to do is to create a gradation. So remember, a little bit of water helps the paint go nice and smooth. Just a little bit of orange, blending the orange into the yellow nicely so that the line of separation disappears. So that looks pretty good. And then I'm just going to grab orange by itself. So I'm getting a little bit darker with my orange. Very, very pretty light gradation. Just love that. Gorgeous sunset colors. And then I'm just gonna have a pinch of space at the top still, and I'm gonna grab a little bit of red, mix it in with that orange, and hit the top part with a nice bright red orange. Okay, so we're gonna end up with a three color gradation here. We went from orange or from red to orange to yellow. Very nice, looks great. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse my brush now. We're in the bottom part of our canvas. And it's sort of a similar idea, but with a different color. So we're gonna mix up our color first. I still have my large brush. Go ahead and take blue. This is again, an ultramarine blue. We're gonna add a little bit of white and a little bit of black into it. I'm going to make a beautiful sort of steely blue. Maybe a pinch more black. Okay, about like so. Steely grayish blue. Oh, that is just beautiful. You just want to bring that up to kiss that yellow, but not come into the yellow to blend. Uh, because you will blend to green. You don't want a green horizon per se. Remember though that with acrylics you can always cover up uh, what you've done. So if you do go, if you do end up creating a little bit of green on accident, uh, you can certainly just let it dry for a minute and then come back over with another coat of blue. There we go. Nice straight line, as straight as you can. <laughs> And then we're just gonna grab a little bit of white. I'm actually just gonna blend this right on the canvas. Uh, so we have a lighter version of that gorgeous steely blue color. And we're just going to bring that up into our other blue and blend it. Just keeping all of my brush strokes going back and forth here, not being shy about going into my other colors and blending them together, right? We don't want just stripes of colors. This is an exercise in blending, okay? So don't be afraid. I specialize in teaching beginners. I've taught painting classes to beginners for almost 10 years. Um, so I've seen a lot of 
people struggle with blending so don't be afraid <laughs> just go ahead and go in there and give it a try it's a play if you don't like it you can always go over it okay so i have a little bit of like streaky white down here which i don't really have in my original but i really like it so i'm gonna go ahead and add just a few more streaks it just feels like very oceany to me Ooh, so pretty okay i'm gonna go ahead and let this dry and then we're gonna come back in a few minutes and do the foreground okay see you in a second okay welcome back i now have a fully dry background and i have the same colors still on my palette i'm going to now start uh the second half here with my medium size pointy brush Okay, so this guy right here, and we're going to start by creating a beautiful sun for ourselves. Now, you can create this uh, with anything circular in your house if you need. Uh, like a roll of tape or a little saucer or whatever works for you, but I'm going to just go ahead and wing it. Uh, and we're going to do the best we can to create a little half circle like so, and I'm actually going to start small, that way I can bring it further out if I need to. Now, I think this sun looks good if it's quite large. So, again, starting small and working our way out. But when the sun is on the horizon, it appears very large. Try to do as straight of a line as I can there. I'm just filling that in with white. Like so. You can use your baby brush for this if you need to. It will give you a little bit more control. Okay, just getting that all filled in with white. And then I'm going to grab a little bit of yellow. And I'm going to take that into the center part here and then just kind of pull it up a little bit. So then we end up having this sort of off-white sun with a slight gradation. You can also just do this with a light yellow if it's too tricky, but I think it adds a nice little something something to have a little bit of interest in here, a little bit of a gradation. Okay, that looks great. Now let's grab our small brush. And we're going to create a reflection of that. So I'm just going to grab that same white. And I'm going to go right underneath my sun. I'm going to do just a few brush strokes. And I'm going to create a light yellow. Do a few brush strokes as well. Very simple, just very light-handed of those two colors. Okay, looks great. Let's go ahead and grab our medium brush again. We're going to do a little bit in the sky before we do our sailboat, which will be the piece de la resistance here. Uh, if you are painting along, I would love to see your work in the Art Club Facebook group, which is a uh, Art Share Facebook group that I created. Uh, specifically for my students to share their work. So check that out uh, in the description box below. If you're painting along, I want to mention that. With my medium brush here, I'm going to create some clouds. So I'm going to create a light uh, orange here with just a little bit of white, kind of a sherberty color. A little bit too light. And I'm just going to take this and do a couple streaks here in my sky of that sherberty color. And kind of get it blended into the background. If you went too heavy handed, you can add some more red right back on top. We're just breaking it up and making it not quite so solid. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with yellow. So we did our initial gradation here. Uh, which helped us do what's called wet on wet blending and now we're doing some layering so totally different effect here
Again, just getting it on and then you can always go back. Tone it down, add some red to kind of help that blend together. That's looking really pretty. I don't want to overdo it. And then since I brought that yellow and orange up, I think I'm also going to bring the red down a little bit. This is, I guess, more of a pink. So red with a little bit of white. Just to create some interest here in my sunset. Okay, that looks so pretty, I love it. All right, I'm gonna grab my medium size, or excuse me, my baby brush again, my tiny brush, littlest one, and then we're just gonna use black here to create our sailboat. Really simple painting today. I'm just gonna bring my black nearby. I have a uh, palette under here, but I'm also using palette paper, uh, which is a handy tool to keep your palette clean. Uh, in between my palette is not clean <laughs> at all right now, so please don't look. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and do our sailboat. Now, when I'm lining this up, I want part of my sailboat to go through the sun, and that's just going to create a really nice contrast of this light white sun uh, and the black sailboat. So go ahead and take uh, your baby brush, tiny brush here, and let's start with uh, an up and down line. That kind of cuts off part of the sun. Okay, it's going to be our mast. We want to try and do it straight up and down. And then we're going to do like a T, an upside down T at the bottom here. And then the front part is going to be more pointed and then kind of come flat again always starting small so that I can make it larger and then flat and then on the back side you want to do a little bloop a little curve line like that Okay, building our boat one line at a time. I always paint really quickly, but go ahead and slow yourself down for this part and take your time to get that shape correct. Okay, so that looks good. So now I have a nice pointed end here and that little uh, U-shaped end on the other side. Okay, now from this top mast, bring it up a little bit further. We're gonna do a triangle that connects to the back one. And go ahead and fill that in. It's okay if it blends with your sun a little bit because the black has pretty good coverage power. So you should be able to just cover that right up. You may need to give it just a half a second to dry if necessary. Like so, and then the front part, we're gonna go from the top here to the very front of our boat. Okay. And then we're gonna create a curved line for this sail because it's being pushed by the wind and curved here as well and then even a little bit of a peekaboo in between there kind of hard to see because i am picking up a little bit of that white let me get this filled in so that you guys can see the shape nice and clearly 
No harm in letting this dry for a second if you're having a hard time getting it all black. You want nice, solid, opaque black. Actually, I'm just going to not have that little peekaboo. <laughs> Looks too messy. Slightly different than my original. It's okay. Okay, just cleaning it up a little bit and getting all the brush strokes consistent in it. I'm going to make sure that this bottom part is sort of connected back to the boat. It looks really cute. And then I'm also going to create just a little bit of interest here in the boat with a little different things that are going on in there. I'm not quite sure what all the different parts of a sailboat are called. You'd think that after teaching so many sailboat paintings that I would learn, and after being on a sailboat a fair amount of times, but hey, I'm not quite a sailor. I would sure like to be though. That would really be fun. I was gonna take a class in sailing, uh, but then the shutdowns happened. Ugh. Always wanted to do that. Oh, just love the open ocean. So fun. Okay, now just a few brush strokes around the boat of black. We'll give it that uh, reflective look. Look, it's reflecting in the water, and you just want to go right underneath where your top shape is and create that reflection. So you're mirroring it, all right? So there's two little areas. It's okay if these brush strokes are sort of wobbly and they're sort of imperfect because the water moves. Okay, and the little piece de la resistance, let's just do a couple little birds. Um, these are always really simple to do. They're just little M shapes, boop and boop <laughs> all right really cute that is actually all i have for you guys today this is a very simple painting today so let me know what you thought uh, of this easy style painting and if you painted along i would love to see you over in the art club that is all the instruction that i have for you today i hope you enjoyed i will see you next week and until then stay creative